everyone welcome back to our channel my name is Brittany and today I'm gonna film by the title of this video my everyday makeup routine so basically I mean I'm not I really like like makeup and like I love watching different tutorials and stuff but I'm not really good at it I don't know I just know how to do basic stuff so I just thought I would just film like a super quick like how I do my makeup every day um, or not every day because I don't wear makeup every day wear makeup every day but whenever I do or I have extra time in the morning then this is what I do I'm just gonna start by putting my hair back so it doesn't get in the way so I don't have a primer <laughs> um, so I just put the foundation right on my skin so yeah, um, this is the Too Faced foundation, born this way. And I just, you know, pump a little bit of that. Oh, I have a mirror here. Hold on. And I just, I don't like putting a lot. I just like light coverage. So I just put like literally only a couple dots. And to be honest, I'm almost 50% sure this isn't even my shade, but like, I just make do, you know? I definitely bought the wrong shade, I think. Usually I put concealer first. Whoopsie. Okay, we'll just do that after. <laughs> uh, camera shook. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna use my concealer, which is uh, ColourPop Dark 48. Okay. Um, and I just realized. For my concealer, I like to use a sponge and I didn't wet it, so BRB. <laughs> so I I prefer using the like Beauty Blender makeup sponge. Well, it's not Beauty Blender, it's like a random sponge, but I prefer using that under my eye because I feel like it blends my concealer better than a brush. So, but the foundation I think is fine with the brush. And now I'm just gonna kind of like go around and make sure everything is just, this is with the other end. That's like, doesn't have concealer on it. I make sure everything is just, Nice and flawless. Okay, awesome. So that's done. I usually use um like a clear brow gel, but I forgot it. So I'm gonna use um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade. Just to quickly fill in. Like I pre yeah, I prefer natural brows. So I'm not gonna put a lot. And this was in the shade Ebony. This is the first brow. Makeup is such an art, honestly. Not saying I'm, I'm saying people who are actually professionals or like know, taught themselves how to do it. It's just so cool what you can create. Oh, powder, haha. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to put my powder on. <laughs> So for my powder, I like to put under my um, under my under eyes a loose powder. Oh, and this is the ColourPop uh, loose powder. Okay, yeah. So that looks way smoother because I remember I was looking in this mirror and I'm like, why do my under eyes look so like just something was off? But yeah, that's what it is. And then I have a Mac Studio Fix that I just put on the rest of my face, and this one has a rest uh, a pressed powder. And I forgot, I usually use, a, I like using a brush, but I forgot my brush, so I'm just gonna use this little makeup sponge. And I just put a light amount. So I'll put like a little bit of the concealer on top of my um, eyes before I even start with shadow. Oh yeah. Um, so there's two colors I use on my eyelid for every day. I actually just use like the Fenty Beauty, the um, what's it called, bronzer and Mocha Mommy, and I just use that like at, my, at the top of my lids and the corner, and then I add just like another color on the lid, which are like super neutral colors. So I'm just gonna do that now. I have this brush here. And 
And then, where's my, let's take the other like flatter brush. And there's this random single set I bought one time off color. I have a lot of color pop, I realized. I should, uh, it's called High Strung. And it's this really pretty, uh, oh, I dropped it. <laughs> get. Yeah, it's just this very pretty, like, taupey, pinky, neutral color. I don't even know, but it's super pretty. So I just put that in the middle of my lid. And then I just go in again with the same brush that I use with the Fenty Beauty just to like blend the corners and make it look more smooth. And then eyeliner. I have this again from Colourpop. I didn't realize I had so much of their products. <laughs> um, it's this creme gel liner BFF in color call me it's like this dark brown and because i have to hold this mirror i'm not gonna even attempt a wing i'm just gonna do a line like just over my eyes and i'm very nervous because i'm really bad at eyeliner but And now I'll just put my bronzer on. Yeah, bronzer and the blush. So I just go back in with the same Fenty Beauty that I used for my eyelids. I feel like I'm in between the Mocha Mommy and the Coco Naughty, which is the color lighter than Mocha Mommy. So I just make sure I go super light-handed with this and just build up because I don't want to go too dark. And then it just looks like a dirt strip on the face. And lastly, a little bit of blush. Just a little. So it's this MAC blush. It's like the color of my, oh, yes. It's like the color of my shirt. And I love blush because it just, ever since I started with makeup, I started always, there was a time where I only used to wear blush, like back in high school, I wear only blush and a highlighter, which is really weird. And, my, oh, mascara, girl, that's crazy. I didn't put mascara on. Let me put some mascara. There's just a Clinique mascara that I am. Oh, I also forgot something. I usually would, I'll just do it in whatever. I totally forgot to carry down. I like to carry down some of the Fenty color from my eyelids over my bottom lash area. Just gonna go in with my highlight. Not a lot, but just enough to give me a natural glow. And lips. <laughs> I was gonna say done, but no. Um, for my natural look, I love just using the Fenty Mademoiselle in Shawty. It's the brown. For me, it's a nude, but it's just this really pretty brown. That is my everyday look. And actually, if I'm feeling sassy, I'll put on some gloss bomb on top. Oh, this I can use the camera. If I want like a shine, just a little bit. So it depends on the mood. All right guys, so that is the end of my everyday makeup routine. I hope you enjoyed and at least took something away from this. Um, I'm always looking for some new products and I realize I have a lot of Colourpop and Fenty so I think I need to expand my collection. So if you have any suggestions for products you think um, I should have that are like must-haves or things you think would look good on me or whatever the case, I would love to hear. So please, please, please comment down below. Um, and yeah, thank you all for watching this video and see you soon. Bye. So much joy.